Okay, so today we're going to focus on some very unorthodox ways of how people have escaped the guillotine choke. The basic guillotine choke, you're wrapping around your partner's neck, clasping your hands together, bridging up into the center, and obviously controlling the hips. In this case, we have a close guard. This can also be done by controlling a partner's neck and bridging directly into the mat. Here's a very similar example of this. He shoots in from a collar tie, goes for a double, gets caught in a full guard, his opponent's going for a high elbow guillotine and driven into the mat for the submission finish. And here we see another great example of this in MMA, using the cage to your advantage, wrapping around the neck, driving his hips in as much as you possibly can and forcing him into the cage. This can also be achieved by clasping your hands around your opponent's neck, lifting them up as high as you possibly can, and in this case, ultimately choking your opponent out. So here we are, let's go straight into some very unorthodox ways of how to escape the guillotine choke. So I call this one the Hail Mary of all escapes. Clasping his hands together, jumping guard, coming very close to finishing, arching backwards, getting the slam, trying to freeze head, and second time lucky and a kick for good luck. Let's look at that one more time. So he's trying to free his head up, pushing on his opponent's face to slip his head out. It's not working. He reaches around the waist, arches backwards as much as he possibly can to get the knockout and deliver some guaranteed neck damage. Just to make sure, just a head kick, just for good luck. Here we have Kazushi Sakuraba wrapping around Vanle Silva's neck. As Kazushi Sakuraba goes to jump guard, Vanle scoops and spikes him onto his shoulder and pops his head out. So here we have a high elbow guillotine to relieve the pressure and obviously avoid the knees. He's pushing on his opponent's thighs. He kicks up, kicks off the cage and ultimately forces a scramble where his opponent is forced to let go of the guillotine choke. Let's look at that one more time. So here we have Quinton Rampage Jackson with a very similar slam. His opponent goes to jump guard, he scoops inside, brings his hips forward and slams him on his head. Let's look at that one more time. And here we have another slam later on in the match. His opponent's a bit switched onto this, but ultimately gets slammed on his head. We could look at endless footage of Quinton Rampage Jackson slamming people, but as his opponent reaches around the neck, very similar slam picks him up and spikes him onto his shoulder. And another very similar example, scooping inside the leg, slamming him on his head. So when it comes to most grappling and jiu-jitsu comps, you're not allowed to lift your partner up and spike them on their head. So let's look at some guaranteed ways of how people have been disqualified in these comps. So here he's going for a high elbow guillotine, trying to get the submission. So let's look at a very unorthodox way of escaping the guillotine. He tries to go to guard, relieving the pressure, lifts himself up as high as he can, hands together, spikes him on his head. Let's look at that one more time. Basically doing a push up on his thighs, using that momentum to clasp his hands together and spike his opponent on his head. Here we have two white belts, shoots in for the double, reaches around the neck, scoops him up and guaranteed DQ in this situation. And giving his opponent the win. And here we have Daniel Lima of Fight Club. In an MMA match, his opponent lifts him up to slam him wraps around his neck, clasps his hands together, and ultimately finishes with an arm in guillotine choke. And here we have Hicks and Gracie. His opponent shoots in for a single, reaches for the double, full front flip, and lands in a position where he can still threaten the choke. Let's look at that one more time. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with your friends.